Okay, today what you guys will be doing in class, well, I'm actually up in Baltimore, Maryland with my wife, um, is working on a macromolecule lab. And you're going to be talking about uh, the macromolecules we talked about in class last class, if that makes any sense. Um, we'll be talking about monomers going into polymers. We'll do that for carbohydrates. We'll do that for lipids. We'll do that for proteins. We'll do that for nucleic acids. So we're going to discover these things um, the way we're going to do it. If I scroll down a little bit, and actually what I'd like you to do first is uh, I'd like you to read the purpose. I'd like you to read the introduction. Um, take a look at your materials list. Um, we will not be using construction paper. There's actually another sheet that we'll be using. Um, colored pencils, you know where those are located. Glue sticks are in the same one. And then the notes for macromolecules, which you have on that PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so we're going to answer the pre-lab questions on the um, answer sheet. And let me show you the answer sheet. Okay, um, pre-lab questions right here. Um, what does the prefix poly mean? What does the prefix mono mean? Um, and you can read the rest, and then conclusion questions will be answered later on. Um, I might as well just show you here. Okay, the procedure, um, we're not going to take that construction paper, like I said up here. Um, we're going to take these, and you can see there's shape A, B, C, D, and E, and as well as F, G, and H. Um, they look like this. So here's shape A, and here's shape A, and here's shape A. I'm whistling my S's. Um, and if you notice, we have got an H on one side, sitting right here, and then we have an OH, a hydroxyl, on this other side. And when they come together, remember, they actually do dehydration synthesis. So that H and this OH will become water. And so what you're going to do is you're going to color this whole thing in green. And I would recommend coloring the hydroxyl and this H in all of them. And you can see there's uh, B, C, D, and E coloring the H and the hydroxyls. I color those blue because on the dehydration synthesis, um, what will happen is uh, this OH hydroxyl and this H will come together to make H2O in water, which you're going to eventually cut out so we can get this shape of the F into like H, or we can get this shape of B into E, D, and C, or we can get the shape A into the other shape A. Okay, you're going to color the B blue, C purple, uh, D, red, and try to actually um, phase it in there. Don't color the whole thing solid green. Um, you know, Start coloring in dark green and just make it lighter and lighter as you move in. Um, remember when these things actually do work, there's actually another oxygen in here. We get this oxygen bridge. Um, this is a six-sided, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, but a six-sided um, hexagonic type shape. And it's made of C6H12O6. Gives you any hints. And when they come together, um, there is an oxygen that remains that's called the oxygen bridge, which locks the two monomers into a dimer, in this case, or a polymer if we're three or more. And then we have these polymers that form out. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually put this on um, a sheet, and I'm going to show you something that's like it. It's this thing right here. Um, this was actually the way I had uh, kids last year work on construction paper, but I'm actually going to give you a piece of uh, regular normal size paper that actually has a setup on it, um, and you'll get to see that. I just don't have a copy of that here at home um, when I'm making this video. So you're going to actually create it on that piece of paper. You'll take the monomers and put them together, and then there's also a space for you to put the polymer on this side. And then when you put that on this side, um, you're also going to have a place for the water that you cut out. So the dehydration water that's going to come out, you're going to stick over here because, remember, we can actually put it the other direction. We can take water and go to these uh, uh, polymers, and we can actually break those up into monomers just by adding water. And that actually does the exact same thing as what we did when we cut these guys out. So you're going to color these. Um, try to color the hydroxyl and the um, H that sticks on the side blue because we're going to cut those out and put them together. You can see that shape right there fits that shape right there to make an H2O. Um, we're going to actually keep that with the water. Okay, um, B, C, and D. 
we're going to do those, um, coloring them, and then it, it says that F, G, and H, you can color any color you want, any pattern you want. I would do patterns maybe more than colors because I would like you not to color the same way as you colored any of those, um, which it actually says on the paper. So you'll place those on there, make sure you put it on this, on this side, and remember we actually have the side where we had the peanut butter and jelly, and then we had the side with the peanut butter jelly sandwich. Um, we're going to put the water over there because it actually is created. So it cuts it out, um, gather the cutouts. I'm not going to read these to you because I'd like you to actually follow the directions. Um, it tells you what to cut out and where to put them. Um, the, thing with the thing that it does not say is that it doesn't talk about the water that's in there. Make sure you save the water. Make sure you um, glue that water in there because you're going to be using glue sticks. Okay, and then you have conclusion questions. And you can see they go on for a whole page. Um, I'd like you to answer those. Um, here's the cutout sheet, and you actually have two of them, so you'll have six A's rather than just the three A's. You'll have two B's, two C's, two C's, two E's, two F's, two G's, and two H's that you need to cut out. And remember, there's an oxygen bridge that should be there. This lab doesn't show that very well. Okay, well, thank you very much. I hope that makes sense. Um, ask the sub for some help, but I think you, if you actually read, put forth the effort and read that lab activity, you can figure out uh, what to do. Alright, thank you much. Bye.